Now, spirits is a lifting powder, but it is just more than that as well. Spirit Lights also has a set of four toners. You can mix your Spirit Lights with your conventional developer, your 3, 6, 9 or 12 to give you different levels of lift. Now they say that this only actually lifts up to three levels and on darker or very heavily coloured bases, this is what I found. However, I think slightly they've under exaggerated the levels of lift here and certainly I found I've got more than three, but I think they're just being cautious here. So Spirit Lights is particularly good for free hand work because it has three different mixing ratios which I'll come to in a second. But first let's talk about the toners. You have a beige toner, a brown toner, a violet toner and a blue toner and you can add one to three centimeters into your mix so that as Spirit Lights lifts it will also either deposit with the brown and the beige or neutralize with the violet and the blue. Now, I found these to be absolutely fantastic. If you're gonna use the blue, really stick to the instructions because the blue is very strong. However, the other ones, I have been a little bit more generous and I personally haven't found an issue with it. Now, by far the strongest mixing ratio is the one and a half times powder to one times developer. And out of all the mixes, this is the one that's really difficult to get your head around because it is a very thick mixture. It's fantastic for doing freehand work, but it also dries out. Now, it's meant to dry out, which as a hairdresser is a little bit odd and a little bit difficult to get your head around when you're using this. Because even though it's drying out and at the end, you'll see actually when you touch it becomes crispy and flaky. It is supposed to do that. And it sort of works from the outside in and you know it's finished its process and then it's worked because of this. So once it's actually dried, it's finished its processing time. You then have your one-to-one -one mix, one part powder, one part developer and of course you can add your toner to it to get the desired effect and this is more of what I would say a traditional clay like lightener is. It's still very thick and you're able to easily manipulate it and, and get a nice result. It doesn't dry out to the degree that the previous formula did so you just visually watch it until you're happy with the result. And finally you have your one part powder to one and a half parts developer and again this is a more malleable mix much easier for stretching and blending but I still find it fine for doing freehand so although you have the three options here you get amazing result with each mix. However again it's really the toners that set this product apart. The fact that you could do a free hand balayage switching between something like the blue toner and the beige toner so when you've completed the balayage you already have tonal definition within it is absolutely amazing. Now don't forget if you're new to the channel like subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos. The next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to give you a very quick look without going into too much depth of what you can expect on a model when you're using this product. So this is a one-to-one -one mix. This is a one and a half powder to one times developer. And as you can see, much thicker. As you can see, or hopefully you can, definitely sort of a looser consistency, more malleable, okay.
Now if you've got value out of this video don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button for more and the video coming up next is actually a video on anti-yellow pigment which you can put into your everyday bleach and it will neutralize out unwanted yellow tones within the hair so why not click on that and check it out.